Megan here, the Butterbean Shop. Thank you so much for joining me today. We are going to make a soap that is actually one of my favorites. It's actually like my most favorite fragrance oil of all time. And it's White Velvet Bow from Rustic Essentials. Now this fragrance has been out of stock for probably around nine months, nine to 10 months because it was affected by that fire in Europe. But I actually purchased two huge containers, bottles of this fragrance oil so I would never be out. Now I will say that it does smell a little bit different from the original and but it still smells good um but yes this is probably my all-time favorite fragrance so i love it so anyway uh the soap is called expensive taste and i finally get to restock it i've had so many um customers ask me about this soap and i always have to tell them i'm sorry i can't restock it yet <laughs> and i obviously i honestly lost hope but I'm glad I get to restock it. So I will go ahead and get started. So I will make it in the same colors as the other one. The base is Tropical Teal Mica from uh, Nurture Soap. And the pink is Electric Bubblegum from Brambleberry. And then I also use white. Um, pink and white are my accent colors. Um, and... And white, of course, is titanium dioxide. So I'll get started by mixing in my additives, which is colloidal oatmeal and white kaolin clay um, in my melted oils. And then I'll add my milks, which is coconut milk and goat milk. Um, and I'll blend that up, make sure that gets thoroughly mixed. And then I'll add my lye solution, which is aloe, tessa silk, and sodium lactate. I'll bring it up to emulsion and then I'll separate everything out into the colors and um, add the fragrance oil. So I'll go ahead and get started now. emulsion and I do not um, blend my stick blend my um, batter past emulsion because I do blend it again when I add my colorants and I do not want this to get overly thick now I so I in the past with the previous oh I have um, I made vanilla and oak soap earlier and I still have pieces of vanilla and oak soap in my um, stick blender um, but basically I do not want to overly stick blend because I do not want it to get um, too thick so I'm gonna go ahead and separate this out now now I before the I hope that this fragrance didn't become reformulated um, with a you know the fire and then you know having to it to wait to be restocked I'm hoping that it still performs as wonderful as it did before before it didn't have any rising any acceleration and I assume the same here so or I'm hoping for the same here so this fragrance is just a, such a beautiful fragrance it's powdery it's soft it's musky it's just so beautiful it's definitely an all-time favorite i absolutely love it love it 
So I'm going to go ahead and pretty much fill those two containers up with the white and the pink. I'll add my white here. Ah! Getting it everywhere. And then I'll add my pink here. And this is a pretty bright pink. It's a beautiful pink. I absolutely love it. It's probably one of my in my top five or top actually top three pinks um, and then I'll add my blue here my teal now I might need to add more I'll see what this color saturation is like but we'll see we will see okay so we'll start stick blending from lightest to darkest. So this is a kind of bluish green, it's a teal color. had so much so many chunks of the other soap in there okay so now I will add this beautiful fragrance oil there here here the rest in here oh I absolutely love it it's just such a powdery beautiful fragrance it's so pretty and I was just so happy when they got it in stock oh. oh I was so happy so I just stir it in and it's no rising it's behaving well It is heating up a little bit, but wow, making a mess, you guys, I'm making an absolute mess. Okay, so now that these are thoroughly mixed, I'm going to go ahead and start pouring. Okay, so I have my molds from Workshop Heritage, and if you don't know, I'm going to be making, I'm going to be doing a um, hanger swirl with this. 
like I did in the first version. So I'll start by pouring my blue. I'm going to pour a substantial amount in there. And I'll go ahead and pour my white. I'll pour my pink. And then more blue. And then we will continue this until we're done. So I start in the middle of the loaf, go down to the bottom, see how that goes don't know but we'll see I will be curious to find out tomorrow okay so I will add the rest of this
down the side here. Because I'm going to swirl now. expensive taste um one of my all-time favorite top two <laughs> top two soaps um i absolutely love it this is such a beautiful fragrance probably my favorite fragrance i absolutely love it oh you guys i love this and i will make another loaf specifically for me because i absolutely love it i'm gonna make another two um to add to the store and yeah, oh, I'm going to spray this with 99% rubbing alcohol, but before I do, I'm going to give you a little close-up. Here goes the close-up. Sorry guys, the camera keeps cutting off. I don't know why. Anyway, here goes the close-up. Um, I will bring you back in a few for the cut. Thanks guys. Hey guys, it's Megan here from the Butterbean Shop. Welcome back to the cutting of expensive taste. Guys, I told you yesterday, this is like all-time favorite fragrance oil and I'm so happy that it's back and I am going to cut this now. I'm excited to see the inside of this. Um, I've missed you. I've missed you so much. <laughs> Talking to myself. Because <laughs> I have. I've missed this fragrance oil so much. So this is like, you guys. Uh, I love it. Definitely an all-time favorite. Okay. So... Uh, it smells so good. Okay, here goes the inside. It looks like the last one that I made. You know, the same. I didn't change anything. Um, except I made it a, a tall skinny before I used a, a standard size um, mold. But I'm into the tall skinnies now. So, because um, I bought boxes, custom boxes. But um, if you... Um, but I, I, absolutely, I absolutely love it. So it, the swirl came out great. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm happy with it. If you, um, have, if you like this soap, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you uh, want to see more of me making um, wonderful goodies, please go ahead and click the subscribe button. And if you want to be notified of any of when I upload new content, please go ahead and click the bell. And until next time, guys, have a beautiful day and see you on the other side of the soap cutting. <laughs>
Thank you.